question to Liz Truss. Yeah, it's lovely to meet you. Nice um, to meet you, Jessica. So I'm a university student, and alongside battling with the strikes, um, I also <laughs> have a job, which some weeks I work up to 30 hours, mm -hmm. partially in a bid to help fund living costs, but also because I'm extremely concerned that I will never be able to become a homeowner given the high deposits and everything like that. Uh, passing affordability assessments, which I know you've addressed, is one hurdle. But do you have any plans in place um, to actually aid first buyers both saving and placing their deposits in a house, given rates of inflation and spiralling rent costs, which are making this increasingly difficult? Thanks, Jessica. Well, Jessica, I want more young people to be able to afford to get on the housing ladder. So what, what I'm proposing is that people's rental history contributes towards them being able to get a mortgage, which should enable more people who rent to be able to get the mortgage uh, and be able to get on the housing ladder. But what we also need to do is sort out the appalling planning system we've got in this country. I've been a local councillor on a planning committee. It was a pretty dispiriting experience because everything, every time I was overruled by you know, Whitehall or by the planning inspectorate in Bristol. And what I want to do is give much more control to local communities, abolish top-down targets and instead enable local communities to develop the homes that they need as quickly as they need them. And we should have different, we should have different systems in places like Lee, Manchester, London, because there are very different, different circumstances. But at the moment, the whole system is just incredibly frustrating and takes far, far too long. So I want to empower local communities to get on with building homes for local people. Is it the role of the state, the government, to help her get a mortgage? Well, it's the role of the government to make sure that our planning system is actually delivering for people across but the country. Gathering together, as she said herself, she's working in a golf club, extra jobs as a student, but she's finding it tough to actually get that deposit that opens the door to the bank or the building society. Is it your job as Prime Minister to help her with that? Well, at the moment, the government regulates all these things. It regulates mortgages, it regulates pensions. So the government is involved, you know, one way or the other. And what I'm saying is the government involvement should be positive. It should be enabling people to be able to get mortgages, particularly mm. young people who want to get yeah. on the housing ladder. And we shouldn't be creating all these barriers and hurdles which are there at the moment. OK. Do you want to come back to this briefly? Um, yeah, I was just sort of thinking, because it is a problem with actually saving deposits. I feel like, for me personally, it seems like a pipe dream that I'm ever going to be able to get enough money for, say, 10 years' time. Where do you time. want to buy a home? Whereabouts? Um, well, I, I think <laughs> that's very dependent on what, where I go after my degree. Um, where, London, where are you thinking at the moment? London would be, like, is again, like I say, a pipe dream, because the rent, buying a house is just hmm. unimaginable. Um, but it's just with stuff like actually saving. I think with, with inflation, the money that I'm trying really hard to save now in 10 years' time might be mm. not worth, like, even near enough to put a deposit down. Um, so I just it was just mainly that. And, like, I do, I think that the help with the renting and everything like that, I think that's a brilliant idea. I think it's definitely mm. making it more accessible. But I still think it's the actual mortgage deposit, mm. um, which yeah. is the key issue. Yeah, right. absolutely. But this is why we need to allow people to use their rental history to be able to get a mortgage. You know, on and on inflation, you know, we've had a massive shock to the global economy because of COVID, because of the war in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. But it, it's important we keep a grip on inflation. But inflation is forecast to peak this year and then come down afterwards. So, you know, it's important we grip inflation. I fully support, you know, the monetary policy the Bank of England has set out. But we shouldn't, we shouldn't bake that into the future. I think it's really important we get inflation down so that we can you know, help you get on the housing ladder.